Mia Farrow, already a popular personality without pushing for the limelight. A lively and intelligent young woman. Roman Polanski, a young controversial European movie director making his first Hollywood film. This film shows their first encounter, the meeting of the two intriguing characters with widely different backgrounds. I let them do it first, and usually what they do instinctively is the right thing. I do my homework, I think about it, I know the direction and what's to happen and how, and uh, I do it. And it very often surprises me, you know, what comes out. Roman is a craftsman, the best, and I trusted him all the way. And he was never wrong. And, and we never disagreed on anything. I, I don't think there was an issue between us. Well, I think she's right. A kiss for the cat, Malcolm. A kiss for the missus, Sharon. Roman found California fantastic. Of Los Angeles, he says, Everything is easy here. You want to uh, uh, learn karate, you can learn karate. You want to play chess, you can play chess. You want to ra uh, drive racing cars, you can drive racing cars. You can, I think everything is um, accessible in this town. I mean, I do have fun. I do enjoy myself. It, it's a need in, in my life, I suppose. I never analyze it. It just sort of happens. It's all a great giggle, isn't it? You can't take anything too seriously. I'm not a flighty person, I don't think. I do take many things very seriously, but I, I don't I don't think I inflict it on other people. There's so many things just, oh, wow, the sun rises and it's free, you know, from there on in. There's so many things, beautiful things that make one happy. I think that Mia's childlike attitude comes out from the feeling that it charms a lot of people. And uh, I don't think that this is what she really likes to be. I don't think that she picked up this attitude because she feels well this way. She just feels that people like it. But I think that we're speaking about things that are which is disappearing in her. Because, as I said, since she came back from India, she seems being further and further from this attitude. Because <laughs> we all painted our hats different colors, because well, that was my idea, because things should be pretty. Everything should be pretty. And I put love on it, because love is the nicest word I could think of. And peace is secondary, because peace is a result of love. Love is the highest thing that man can give and be and do and live in love. That's what I would hope for in my life. That for the first time, the young people are, are peaceful and, and want to speak about love and peace, and they really mean it, and that's what's so great about it. to put people on. If they were nice to me, they'd get a star, and if they were mean to me, they'd get a black dot. <laughs> no, then Roman made my chart and graded me. It turned into a whole thing. I tore up my chart. Not because of Roman's chart, no. It was, I got angry at something. I forget what it was now. Something, I was in a fit, and I tore up the whole chart. I think it's sad when people are put when they're grown-ups too long and they forget the joy of being a child. I still, I keep thinking there'll be one sort of day when thunder will strike and I'll be a grown woman or something and I'll be all changed, but it hasn't happened. I still like and do the same things I, I've always done. Well, when I'm doing things, I have fun and I never think about it. I'm just having fun and it's joy. And I do things I enjoy and the joy just comes out. And if it's childlike, well, that's just a name someone put on it for joy, I suppose. I have a great need to be alone. I mean, there's that, too, and I like peace. And even since the film, I mean, one goes through so many changes. My thing right now is I, I don't like socializing.